Good morning everyone and welcome to Tarot for You 444. It's certainly lovely to have you with me today. It's very early here in Australia, I think maybe, I don't know, around half past five <laughs> in the morning. So if my voice sounds a little bit crackly, that's why. <laughs> but um, I wanted to say that I wish that you all feel safe and peaceful and loved today, first and foremost. And also, um, I kind of want to bring up a few different things, um, you know, regarding Twin Flames and regarding just general stuff. So, let me have a sip of my cocoa. Hang on a minute. <laughs> And uh, if you want to pause the video, of course, I'd love you to go and get a nice warm cuppa so you too can enjoy something nice. Mm -hmm. Wow, <laughs> that always makes me feel better in the morning. Okay, so the first thing I want to bring up is this whole concept of... Um, you know the the roundabout kind of thing where um, I'm gonna call it a roundabout because it kind of feels like this never-ending you know thing that you're on um, that goes around and around within the twin flame journey and this is the whole idea that you know you need to focus on yourself for your twin flame to come in and it's kind of a roundabout because, you know, because you love them so much, you want to focus on them. And yet, to focus on yourself, you feel like you're, it's taking away from that. So it's kind of like, um, I don't know, if you could imagine, you know, the infinity symbol, the, you know, the figure eight. And if you, you know, if you just imagine it in front of your face and trace a line around it. Okay, so you've got one circle on one side and one circle on the other side. And if you keep tracing your finger around, it's kind of like there's two choices here. Do I focus on myself or do I go and focus on my twin? Do I focus on myself? Do I focus on my twin? Do I focus on myself? Do I focus on my twin? And, you know, many, many, many spiritualists and you know twin flame coaches will say you know that you must focus on yourself and you know first and foremost focus on yourself focus on yourself focus on yourself it's the only way to attract your twin la 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 okay and and this is true to some degree okay but it's not the only truth here and so before I get into this topic I want to add in a few little things that, you know, aren't always spoken about. Okay, and I particularly want to give reference to the Divine Feminine here in a positive light, you know, rather than this, you know, chasing, crazy, obsessed, um, <clears throat> I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, what, what other names is she being called? <laughs> um, you know, I want to stay away from those negative um, tags and I want us to start understanding the reasons why, first and foremost, she wants love. Okay, because it's, you know, there's a whole, you know, I'm not going to, you know, mention any other channel or any other website or any other anyone because you know I, I don't want to do that but it's not just a black and white go and focus on yourself and your twin flame comes in it's not it's not black and white you know what I mean it's not um I don't know maybe a better metaphor is you know it's not um you know set in stone that that's the only thing that needs to happen here because what people aren't discussing and I think this is poignant 
is the fact that for, you know, many, 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 many hundreds of thousands, you know, possibly more than that years, is that the divine feminine has been repressed for a very long time. Okay, not only, and this might trigger some people, so if it does, that's fine, it's meant to. Um, but, you know, for millions or centuries or however long you want to say, you know, women have been repressed in many ways. So, you know, the actual word of feminism is... Um, I'm not talking about feminism as in, you know, those kind of women that say, you know, they hate all men and all of that. That's not what I mean by feminism. But feminism actually means, if you look it up in the dictionary, you know, to fight for the rights of women. Okay, so if we look around us in the world, you know, we can see that it's dominated by the male energy. And it's not just dominated by the male energy at this time, it's dominated by the distorted male energy. Okay, and women have been very much repressed by way of not being able to speak their truth, not being able to wear what they want to wear, not being able to, um, you know, get the same pay f at work, not being able to um, feel safe in this world, you know. There's many places that women can't walk down the street and feel safe. You know, they they get raped or abused and many other things occur to women so it's a different world if you if you're born into it as a woman it's very different world especially depending on what locality you are living in it's a very different world for for women as opposed to men and that's not to say that you know that men don't have their challenges in the world they certainly do um but what i'm trying to get to here is that for a very long time, women have been repressed in many, many forms. And so what happens here is that they crave to be loved. They crave to have intimacy. They crave to have passion. They crave to be someone's happy ever after. They crave to be the one in someone's life. Okay? You know, as do most men... I believe, I mean, I can't speak for all men, of course, um, but it's that feeling, you know, that feeling of wanting to belong to something or someone, um, which is a natural and beautiful feeling, you know, and we should embrace that because within the world today it's very difficult to feel especially if you're awakened especially if you're a light worker especially if you're a twin flame you know when you when you go you know when you go through the other side after you know becoming awake i, I call it being awake you know and and you see things for what they are and you see you know how low vibrational a lot of the world is you know, people are still having wars, people are still killing one another, people are still raping one another, people are still murdering one another. You know, this isn't a heightened state of consciousness within the world that we're living in today. And so when you awaken and you understand that, you know, there needs to be more, then it can be quite disheartening because you can feel very alone. So not only do the divine feminines feel alone, in this world because they have awoken to the truth of who they are but there's this repression this energy of repression that's been there for a long long time and the thing is that you know women are sacred women are beautiful women are you know divine and they have not been treated like that you know there's been so much taken away from them you know, and that's not to say that men aren't these things either, but I'm just saying in this particular world that we're living in, this third dimensional world, you know, women are not celebrated as they should be. You know, the distorted masculine energies, you know, and distorted feminine energies have taken away that from the divine feminine. So is it any wonder 
that on the twin flame journey or otherwise that she craves and longs to have someone that's just for her and I don't think so I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all I think that's a natural state of being I think it's wonderful that she wants to connect with someone on that level and I think that <clears throat> you know when it's in that divine energy that, that it's very sacred and beautiful and so for those coaches and teachers and spiritualists and websites or whoever that are saying you know <clears throat> you know you've got to focus on yourself stop focusing on the love stop wanting the love you know I would I would call that out and say well we all deserve love feminine and masculine energies all deserve love and this willingness this willingness to even open one's heart space enough to wanting that intimacy to wanting that love and to you know being vulnerable is what the divine feminine is so when we say to her just focus on yourself don't focus on the twin flame journey don't focus on the love don't focus on this right then you actually take away from her essence so I would say that she needs to focus on herself first and foremost but still have this idea of love in her heart still have this idea of the possibility of the romance in her heart because divine feminine is that the divine feminine is sacred she is love she is loving and she deserves to have someone come in and to love her and to be responsibly giving her nurturing she deserves to be shielded she deserves to have someone stand up for her she deserves to be touched in a way that no one's touched her before she deserves to kiss for three hours with her counterpart she deserves all of that so for those who don't believe that that's a possibility I would question that and you know feel free to go crazy in the comments if you want to if you don't agree that's fine we've all got our own opinions here but you can't expect divine feminine <clears throat> excuse me and or divine masculine right take it how it resonates to just keep focusing on the self focusing on the self focusing on the self focusing on the self and having no intimacy having no bonding you know we are human beings at the end of the day and we need to be loved and we need to be nurtured and touch is part of all of that you know romantically engaging with someone is part of all of that having a sexual experience with someone in a sacred way is part of all of that it is not wrong to want that it is not wrong to long for that okay so I wanted to bring that up the other topic I want to bring up is that at the moment in the world we're also seeing um, the repression of race occur okay so I don't want to get into a huge topic about race you know I am obviously a white woman that lives in a very lucky country and so you know where I am I you know I don't see a lot of racism in the particular place where I live um, you know it is plastered all over the news it is you know I do have friends from you know other backgrounds and cultures and races so you know I do understand 
from their perspective how they feel. But this is also the same repression that's occurred for thousands and thousands, hundreds of thousands of years, right? I don't know about exact time frames, but you know, it's happened for a very long time. And so we're seeing people be really affected by this in the world right now. And I want to say about this, you know, that it doesn't matter what race or culture or location that you're from. We all need to love one another like children do. You know, when you speak to someone and they're in a distorted energy or vice versa, you know, because we all can get in our distorted energy in our ego, right? Understand that, you know, when people react or act a certain way, whether it's related to race or culture or or just that someone didn't do the washing up and someone's mad at them, right? It doesn't matter what topic it is, right? Understand that people have underlying hurt inside of them that may not even be from this lifetime. You know, these things, if you believe in past lives, you know, they're... There's lifetimes and lifetimes and lifetimes of hurt and pain and regret and, you know, all of this stuff that people hold inside of them. And, you know, just because you're sitting across from someone, I mean, you might go to a coffee shop and, I don't know, let's say you had to <clears throat> talk to a stranger because, I don't know, it was a dating thing or something, right? But, you know, let's say you got there and they seemed... You know, they were smiling and they looked all happy and, you know, you just don't really know what's going on inside of someone. You just don't know what they've been through. You know, you don't know, have they lost a parent? Have they, have they had an illness that they've battled with? You know, does their cousin have depression and they've had to, <clears throat> you know, bake meals for them every weekend? You know, have they been abused as a child? Have they been raped? Have they been through their own battles? You know, people have got so much stuff going on inside of themselves. And many of them aren't even awake. You know what I mean by awake? Many people have never cleansed themselves spiritually or mentally Okay, some people have never gone within themselves and, and tried to take a look and, and even shed any of it. So there's people in the world today walking around with all of this stuff that they hold on to. All of this pain, all of this hurt, all of this regret, all of this guilt, all of this, you know, name your emotion and, and stick it there. Okay. So, I want to say, if you've got the choice to be right or kind, be kind. Because you really don't know what other people are going through. And if you don't resonate with someone, if they're speaking things that you don't agree with, just walk away. You know, you've got the choice to walk away. You don't have to interact. This is how wars begin. You know, one side's pissed off, the other side's pissed off, then they're both pissed off, and all of a sudden people are being murdered and killed and, you know, I don't know, can we get worse than that? Raped. <clears throat> okay. Tortured. Okay. You know, do we really want to go back to that in this world? Do we really want to go back to... The arguing, the drama, the hatred, the non-love. You know, all of these all of these things are the opposite of love. You know, the real opposite of love is fear. And there's plenty of people in the world right now who are very afraid. And so when they're afraid, they're going to act out. When they're afraid, they're going to do things they don't mean. And this happens on the twin flame journey too. You know, when someone's afraid... They'll say something they don't mean. When someone's afraid, they'll act clingy. They'll act needy. They'll act 
you know, pissed off. So I would say divine feminine and or masculine, whoever this applies to. Yes, focus on yourself. I'm coming back to this other thing that I was talking about before now. Focus on yourself, but do not for one moment let go of the idea of a beautiful love. Do not ever let go of that idea. And, you know, you deserve that. And if it's not with your twin flame, then so be it. If it's with someone else that wants to love you and nurture you and comfort you like you deserve, then that's fine. You know, the twin flame journey is the hardest journey you'll ever go on because it makes you take a look at everything inside of yourself with a microscope just about you know if you've got abandonment issues they'll come up if you've had any abuse in your childhood or any trauma that'll come up if you've had um, any kind of you know, you thought you were vibrating high and you thought, you know, that everything was fine, you were happy from within and then, you know, and then there'll be a trigger. And so that'll come up and that'll come up more than one time until it's, you know, until you grow from it. But don't ever lose sight of that, you know, this is a relationship between two people that love one another because then you've left the essence of the divinity and the union and let it go and and the thing is that that yes the twin flame journey is a journey to the self but you know they are you so you are journeying back to you you're going within and doing all of the work that you need to do to come into union with yourself and then Hopefully, if they're willing to, they've got to be willing, remember. You'll come into union with them too. They are you. That's the, the, the whole thing is, they are you. There really is no separation. But, but sometimes the other one's not ready in this lifetime. Sometimes it's too hard. And that's something that you have to, you know, by going within... And by working on yourself, you know, many twin flames leave the journey because they can see that the other one just isn't going to be willing in this lifetime. And that's the truth. So I don't ever want divine feminine or masculine to ever let go of the idea of love. The idea that you can French kiss for four hours or that you can, I don't know, hold one another and stare into one another's eyes and have that romantic connection that you see in movies. That can happen. It's not a pie in the sky idea if you're with the right person who also wants that. Okay? But I want you to remember that there's divine energy and there's distorted energy. <clears throat> when people shut off their heart, when people don't have a connection to source energy or God or Buddha or Allah or whoever they believe in, then this connection can become lost. You know, the twin flames, <clears throat> if you can imagine, you know, the two people you've got you know just imagine that they're staring into one another's eyes you've got the divine masculine divine feminine okay what links them you know if we go up from their heads up into up higher you know it's the higher the higher realm the higher consciousness that the source energy is what links them together so, you know, don't only focus on yourself, focus on your connection to source. 
because that's where you're going to get your energy from you know i mean people in the world right now some of them are absolutely batshit crazy like seriously people are very distorted you know not coping very you know angry dramatic annoying <laughs> without being mean but you know what i mean they're just they're going through it right so you have to come into yourself and take care of yourself yes but you also have to look to your creator whoever you believe that is for you because that's where your energy source is comes from that's who made you you know go within get the guidance you need from your higher self or from whoever you believe in whoever your source is because this is a powerful soul source energy and it's never ending you know this source is continual you know the people around you that you know the family members around you that you know you know they're human at the end of the day and they've got boundaries and they've got limits and they get pissed off and they get tired and they get, you know, they've got their own issues, okay? So instead of leaning on those people, I mean, you can to a certain extent, but go to God or whoever you believe in, Buddha, Allah, I don't know, name some other religions <laughs> or or spiritual things okay you know some people are just spiritual they don't necessarily believe in any particular thing and that's fine but you know your energy comes from source at the end of the day something put you here on earth and this is where you can get your energy from okay the twin flame journey is is not third dimensional consciousness journey that's the thing and so this is the other point i want to make again I've, i think i've said this in a recent video as well but we can't put the same rules on it that you would in the third dimensional consciousness you know oh he didn't text me back and it's been three hours so i'm gonna wait six hours and you know oh you know He's, I don't know, he's going out with Charlotte. <laughs> I hate that woman. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, you shouldn't be hating anyone anyway, right? Because you want to be in your heart space no matter what happens. Okay. And it was funny, you know, when I first started my channel, I had someone comment. I can't, I don't know. I don't know who it was. And I wouldn't bring up names anyway. But someone said, you know, so what are we going to do? Just let Divine Masculine off of the hook all the time. You know, he seems to just be getting away with everything. All the time. He gets away with all this stuff. <laughs> and the thing is that, you know, we need to understand that both Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine have a choice in this union. It is a choice to come into union. You know, one party may not want to come into union <clears throat> okay and the best you can do the best you can do whether you're divine feminine or divine masculine is come into union with yourself and your creator and then trust and have faith remember faith is something faith is believing even when you can't see it close your eyes and feel the energy close your eyes and feel the connection close your eyes that's how you know the truth your feeling about something will tell you the truth this is how many psychics and um empaths connect with people you know you could you could look at a photograph of someone and then you could close your eyes and then how do you feel about that person you know, imagine, imagine you were in the world, okay, and I don't know, somehow we have this superpower where we could walk around and just feel things, 
okay you know we could still somehow navigate without seeing all right but when you stand next to another person how do you feel what is your body doing does it want to run the other way or does it want to hug them you know how do you feel when you're around certain people <clears throat> excuse me wow <clears throat> that means I need to someone's going to send me a message soon sometimes that happens with my throat chakra so what I'm trying to say is that I want you to just do this thing where you close your eyes just every now and again I want you to close your eyes all right so you might be talking on the phone with your best friend close your eyes how do you feel about them when they're talking do it with mum or dad or <clears throat> excuse me your cousin or your brother or your uncle or your I don't know the man who delivers the gas all right just do it and feel the energy feel the difference you know you may feel absolute bliss when you're around your mother and yet when Uncle Bob calls your whole body might go ugh, yuck that man's toxic right so the twin flame journey is a journey where you can feel your way how do you feel when you're with your twin how do you feel when they're in their distorted energy are you repelled by that you probably don't want to spend as much time with them if they're in their distorted energy and so what does that tell you if you're in your distorted energy your twin may not want to spend as much time with you so this whole thing where focus on yourself make sure you feel good eat better have a nice bath cleanse yourself be spiritual go out in the garden you know take walks in nature this is so you are attractive in your energy because the twin flame connection is a heart to heart soul to soul intuitive or third eye to third eye energetic connection it's your souls that are attracted to one another so let go of that third dimensional consciousness idea of you know oh he didn't text me oh we're not dating and on and on it goes or she let's let's turn it around oh she didn't text me oh she never does this oh la 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 right let's let's not make it all one-sided let's be be fair here all right and so when we do this when we close our eyes just for a minute just try it even now while I'm talking to you just close your eyes this is why I do audio sometimes because I want you to feel the energy of what I'm saying I don't want you to have a distraction of looking at you know the cards or at me or whatever you know feel your way through this connection when you're high vibrational and connected to source energy God, Buddha, Allah, whoever you believe in, right? You'll feel them more. You will feel them more. You'll be able to telepathically connect and get message from messages from your twin. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. If you're in your distorted energy, not only will your heart space close off, which can cause illness and blockages, first first and foremost you know in the chakra center and then it can go into the physical body but you you can you then become lost and vulnerable because you can't feel them anymore and you're like well, where are they and of course they're repelled by you not being in your highest vibration and it's not even personal it's not even a personal thing it's about energy because they're probably trying to be their best you know their best self most people are trying to be their best self 
And so when you're in your distorted energy, you're not as attractive. It's like a piece of fish that gets delivered at the restaurant, you know. It, is it just chopped up in, in some sort of mush? Or, you know, has it been decorated with, you know, different herbs and some lemon and, you know, it's on a lovely clean plate. You know what I mean? You know, which fish are you right now? <laughs> if you've recently been through the dark night of the soul, you're going to look like chopped up tuna. <laughs> Which, oh dear we won't go there will we we know what we mean we know okay so no matter what the topic is whether it's racism whether it's feminism whether it's I don't know childhood trauma whether it's religion whether it's politics whether it's any kind of topic here right I know I'm changing the subject a little bit more here but it really doesn't matter <clears throat> it really doesn't matter what it is regarding the topic but if we feel a certain way about it and it's hurting us it means that we're connected to it in some way okay so you know for divine feminine she may feel abandonment and this may have nothing to do with her divine masculine at all but if he doesn't come in it may trigger that abandonment in her let's say okay you know i know some people who aren't even colored that feel terribly sad about the repression of you know darker skinned people okay especially what's going on in the world right now you know they feel they feel inside of themselves this this you know sadness about it you know we're not just talking about this lifetime remember we're talking about lifetimes and lifetimes of repression within you know even men have been repressed in many ways too you know i'm not trying to i'm not I'm a feminist in the way that I believe that women should have rights, yes, but I'm not a feminist in the way that, you know, I'm not saying, I'm not like, all men are bad, you know what I mean? I don't, that's not what I mean. So please don't, you know, take that the wrong way. But even men have been repressed, you know, men are told, don't cry, you've got to be this superhero, you've got to come in and be the protector and the, you know, all of these things. And so what happens is that, because men are trying, I'm just changing topic again, but it's okay, because it's relevant. But, you know, because men are trying to be these superhero protectors and shielders and, you know, they then don't want to come into touch with their own feelings. Maybe they do behind closed doors, but they, you know, they feel weird talking about feelings and they feel weird coming into this beautiful heart space and then we've got divine feminine on the other hand going well I'm in my heart space I'm being loving and I'm being kind and I've got my eye on God or whoever right I'm being faithful I'm being loving I'm being honest and divine masculine is like you know <laughs> I'm not opening my heart space because that means I need to be vulnerable <laughs> Right, so can you see the disconnect here in just the twin flame journey? You've got, perhaps it could be the other way around as well. But you know, one twin can open up their heart space and be unconditionally loving. The other one can close off. <clears throat> Which means that they're, you know, usually in their distorted energy. Because if you've closed off your heart space, then you can't let any love in or out. Because you're, you're feeling like some part of you, you know, needs to just toughen up and, you know, I'm, I'm not sounding very good using a male deep voice, but you know what I mean? Just toughen up, sunshine. <laughs> you know what I mean? So this is the other disconnect that occurs. Not only do we have the battle of the sexes where the, the, the girls trying to, or the fe feminines, going well you know i want to be loved i want to be nurtured but the man's like i'm the protector i've got to go and work i don't you know i don't need love 
So <laughs> there's this whole disconnect of just the sexes in general and what their roles are anyway. And then there's the, you know, the social programming of that women need to be this and men need to be that. And then it's just so disconnected in the third dimensional consciousness. And so we have to move up in consciousness and understand that if we don't treat the twin flame journey with this heart to heart, soul to soul, third eye to third eye connection, that it's just going to end up being this third dimensional consciousness, stupid relationship where, oh, he didn't text and she didn't call and, you know, you know, I'm over it or I want to leave or, you know, then all these obligations come into it. That's what I'm trying to say. So then you're obliged to follow the rules, you know, the third dimensional consciousness rules. And the thing is that it's not a third dimensional consciousness relationship. It's a fifth dimensional consciousness relationship and above because you can go higher than that even. Okay. So yes, focus on you. I'll come back to it again. Yes, focus on yourself. Yes, do that because you need to anyway. But that's not necessarily what brings your twin in. What brings your twin in is that you are of high vibration and they're trying to get, usually, hopefully, are also trying to be the best version of, of themselves that they can be. And so then the vibrations are matching. Then the energy is matching. Okay, it's not some woo-woo weird thing where you just go off and ignore them for 10 years and say, well, you know what, now I've got a degree and a perfect house and a perfect life and I'm, you know, blissfully waiting, kind of like in the notebook, how he, <laughs> if you've ever watched that movie and he's built this house and he's, you know, done it all for her kind of thing. I mean, that's just a movie, but, you know. You don't want to just go off and ignore them. That's not the point to going and working on yourself. You want to work on yourself because you deserve to work on yourself. But you also want to come into the highest vibration of yourself so that they're attracted to you. Because at the end of the day, it is a soul energy connection. You know, forget the 3D stuff. Forget whether you got your hair dyed last week or whether you're wearing makeup today or not. Forget all of that stuff. Or if you bought, I don't know, if you're a guy, if you bought brand new jeans and and shades, you know. Forget all of that 3D stuff. Forget all of that. It's all about your souls and your soul's attraction to one another. Okay? This is why, you know, when you look in your twin flame's eyes, you feel that connection, right? They might not even be your type. You know, you might have, you know, in the third dimensional consciousness realm, you might have dated someone with brown hair and brown eyes and that's your thing. And then your twin shows up and they've got, I don't know, black hair and blue eyes or, or you know, they're chubby and you used to go for athletic type or, you know, for the guys, they might have been into, I don't know, the thin look and the and now you know this woman's the curviest thing they've ever seen and they just can't believe how hot it is you know your twin does not show up how you expect them to in fact you'll be mesmerized by how much more attracted you are to them and how you know how god or whoever you believe in made them as this perfect counterpart for you Right, And there'll be these little things that you'll notice, you know, over the journey. You'll notice, oh my goodness, like, oh, wow. Like, even their name, you know, their name will just resonate with you. Or, or when they speak, their voice will resonate with you. Right? But close your eyes and listen to their voice. Close your eyes and feel their soul. Okay? 
it's not about this third dimensional consciousness idea okay it really isn't it <laughs> If you want to bring it into there, this is when the problems will start occurring because then you'll be in that, you know, that mental conflict of, oh my God, they're not texting me or, oh my goodness, you know, they're, uh, I don't know, with Charlotte again. <laughs> Why are they with Charlotte? <laughs> she ain't got a patch on me. <laughs> I'm being silly now. I'm being silly. Harry made me do it. You know what I mean? So stay in your own vibration the best and highest vibration you can be be kind be loving be giving you know if you need to get pissed off for a minute get pissed off for a minute and then come back up again if you need to get angry for a minute just get angry for a minute and come back up again you know try not to stay in those lower vibrational emotions okay be the best version of yourself because that's the most attractive and closest version that you can be in line with your soul, okay? Or your energetic resonance, let's say. And when you do that, somehow, magically, <laughs> your twin will be like, where are you? I haven't spoken to you for a while and I, was, I really miss you. And you just go, what? What? How does that happen? Okay? And it's because of the energy. They're attracted to your energy. You know, it's not about what dress you're wearing. It's not about the shoes you got on. It's all about your soul. All right. So, yes, work on yourself. Yes, get that degree if you want to get that degree. Make your garden pretty. Do whatever you want to make yourself feel good. Okay. Mind, body, soul, emotions and chakras. Don't forget. Okay. And when you do this. When you do this, all of a sudden you're going to hear this, la, and you wonder what it is, and, and it'll be your twin riding on a horse towards you, <laughs> building that house in the notebook. Maybe not quiet, but, you know, we're allowed to have a little bit of fun, aren't we? You know, I mean, who doesn't want to go in the boat with all of those swans swimming around? I mean, that's just... You know, and why couldn't you? This is the thing. Why can't you? You're allowed to fantasize and romanticize whatever you want to do. Do not forget that you want to come into union with yourself first and foremost. And also then with your twin. But if they don't want to, they don't want to. And that's up to them. Okay? So just know that as well. Have that in the back of your mind. You know, if they're so distorted, if they're not really on the journey, if they're not even sure they're a twin flame, if it's, you know, for some of you, it may be your distorted, your distorted, um, sorry, not distorted, your false twin, okay? Because your false twin can come before the real one. But when the real one comes, you'll know, you know. And if you don't know, you can ask a reader, you know, get a, a, a twin flame reading or, a, you know, get some clarity. I mean, not all readers will tell you. I will tell you what my cards say if you want to get a reading with me, if you're not sure. All right. So, yeah, this is important. Today, this message is important. I don't know. I'm going to put 18 plus on it because I've talked about things that are a little bit taboo, like, you know, I don't know, I've mentioned race, I've mentioned feminism, or I've mentioned things that may trigger people, so I'm going to just put an 18 plus on it, you know, so it will be in that playlist. If you want to come back to this and listen to it again, um, it'll be in the 18 plus playlist, okay? But I'm sending you so much love and light from Australia, and I want you to just love you, not because that brings your twin in, but I want you to love you because you love you <laughs> all right okay and then if you feel lonely if you feel like you're coming undone please reach out to whoever you trust and that you know if you trust me you can reach out to me my email is below all right but if you really don't have anyone you can go to your source energy okay get your power from there 
because that's um what did I say before what word did I use it's never ending okay you know God source Buddha Allah whoever you believe in doesn't get tired okay the creator never gets tired so if you need to revisit your faith revisit your spirituality your spiritual practices please do that because it will help you okay because this is a divine connection so you need to understand who your source or who your creator is for you all right and this will help you greatly on the journey all righty i've been way 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 too long harry says Harry's winking at me. He's saying, get off now. I'm hungry. He's hungry. He wants tacos. All right. <laughs> I'm sending you love, light, and peace from Australia. Okay. And I hope you have a great day, night, afternoon, or evening, or morning, <laughs> or whatever time. It might be 11 11 there, or 4 4 4, or 3 3 3, or 2 2 2. <laughs> okay whatever time it is have a, a lovely lovely day and i'll talk to you real soon bye everyone bye